Hi, this is question number six taken from June 2014, Advanced Level Maths, HSC P3. In the diagram, A is a point on the circumference of a circle with center O and a radius R. A circular arc with center A meets the circumference at B and C. The angle A OAB is equal to X radians. The shaded region is bounded by AB, AC and the circular arc with center A joining B and C. The perimeter of the shaded region is equal to half the circumference of the circle. For the first part, we need to show that X uh, is equal to the inverse of cos pi upon 4 plus 4x and for the second part we need to verify by calculation that x lies between 1 and 1.5 and then for the third part we have to use the iterative formula uh, x uh, sub n plus 1 is equal to the inverse cos of pi upon 4 plus 4x sub n to determine the value of x correct to three sorry two decimal places give the result of each iteration to four decimal places three marks for this question so so for the first part we're going to have to show that x is equal to the inverse cos of pi upon four plus four x given that the perimeter of the shaded region is equal to half the circumference of the circle now, for a question like this, I would advise you to find the circumference of the circle and then divide it by 2. So, what is the circumference of the circle anyway? The radius is R. So, circumference of the circle is going to be 2 pi R. And now, this is going to be half in order to give us the perimeter of the shaded region. Now, for the shaded region, we have the perimeter as this, this, and the arc. So we have an arc. If you look at this carefully, this arc here can go on and make a circle, right? And this is its, its radius, so we have to find the radius. And once we find this radius, it's going to be the same as this because this is also the radius. And then we're going to use the radius and the angle here to be able to find the arc. So then we take the radius plus the radius plus the arc we're going to get the parameter of the shaded region. So how are we going to find this AB anyway? <coughs> so, this is quite interesting. If you draw a line from the center to here, that's going to be the radius of the big circle. This is also the radius of the big circle. What I'm, tra what, what, what I'm trying to tell you is, if you draw a line like this, this is going to be AB. A, B. So this is the center of the big circle. It goes like this and like this. Now, this is O and you know that this is X and this is X as given here. So this is X. All right, what I can do further, I can drop a line from here to there. I can make this 90 degrees. Now, maybe I can call this M. It's going to be the midpoint of this. So. This is x, right? What can I do from here? I need to find the length of this. I can find the small length here and multiply it by 2 to get the full length. So what is this then? The angle, if the angle is here, that means this side here is going to be the adjacent to this angle. And this is the hypotenuse. So we have ages, a hypotenuse and we have adjacent. So we're dealing with cos. So we're going to say so Come. Therefore, the cos of the angle X is going to be the adjacent BM over the hypotenuse, and the hypotenuse is R, as given in the question. Alright, so R. Therefore, BM is equal to R times cos of X. Now, interestingly, what is AB? So AB is going to be twice of, the, twice of this length because this and this makes AB so we're going to say 2 times the whole thing here 2R cos of X this is in centimeters now that's the full length here in other words 
we found this and this is also going to be the same this we can say AC is equal to also 2R cos of X centimeters now what else can I or I need to find is this length here the arc length now remember if this is a sector and you have to find um, now you know this this has been you you just calculated the radius it is 2r cos of x that's the radius with a small circle you will need to find the arc what is arc arc length is equal to r theta the radius times the angle here's the radius so therefore the arc uh, in other words this is the arc BC the arc BC is going to be the radius 2R times 2X so we have 2X times I mean 2R cos of X so what we're saying is it is going to be 4XR cos of X now that's the arc BC what is the parameter then? Let's call the parameter P. The parameter is the parameter, I mean, of the shaded region, the radius, radius, and arc. So we're going to say 2 cos of x plus 2 cos of x plus what we just found here. So 2, I mean, 2 r cos of x. What is 2 r cos of x plus 2 r cos of x? It's going to be 4 r cos of x plus this. That is plus 4r x cos of x. That's the parameter of the shaded region. We all said that the parameter is equal to half the circumference of the circle. This is half the circumference of the circle. I can factorize this right away if I want to. Okay, but let's let's see here. 4r cos of x and inside we're left with 1 plus x isn't it 4 r cos of x 4 r cos of x 1 plus x yeah this is going to be equal to half the circumference of the circle is 2 pi r we calculated that earlier on and we have 4 r cos of x into 1 plus x so this goes out and then what else? Uh, we have to um, show that x is equal to the inverse of cos of uh, pi upon 4 plus 4x. So how are we going to do this? Also r goes out, r goes out and uh, what we can do is we have pi here, alright? So pi and the 4 is multiplied when you stand on the other side becomes divided by 4 is equal to cos of x into 1 plus x now um, what is this anyway okay so maybe we can multiply the whole thing here all right and if we do that so what are we going to be doing anyway so well let me think here okay um, right if I if I say this is pi is equal to 4 cos of x into 1 plus x then I say 4 times 1 okay 4 times x so I'm going to be left with pi is equal to cos of x into 4 plus 4x okay and this can be can go there can become I mean we can divide it okay so yeah let us move this like this so we, we have pi is equal to cos of x times 4 plus 4x in other words cos of x okay is equal to 
pi divided by 4 plus 4x. Hence, I can say x is equal to, you remove the cos, it becomes inverse cos of pi upon 4 plus 4x. And here we are, this has been proved. Now, for the other part, we need to verify by calculation, okay, for the second part, that uh, there is a verify that by calculation that there is uh, that, that x lies between 1 and 1.5. Okay, to do something like this, what I would suggest is you call this fx is equal to send the cos on this side. Let's try it this way. So we have x minus then inverse cos of pi upon 4 plus 4x fx okay so sorry about the quality of the video here <laughs> right so first we're going to have to do f1 because we need to prove that there is a root between x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 1.5 so what is f1 it's going to be 1 minus inverse cos of pi upon 1 so this is 1 4 times 1 is 1 so, sorry, 4 times 1 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. So, this is it. Do that in the calculator. So, cos, in, uh, first of all, we're going to say pi divided by 8, the inverse cos of that. And then you take um, 1, you minus it. It's going to give you minus 0 0.167. Okay. So this is going to be minus 0 0.167, right? Now for f1.5, 1.5 minus inverse cos of pi up in 4 plus 4 times 1.5. So what is 4 plus 4 times 1.5? 10. So this is pi upon, uh, sorry, yeah, is it 1.5, yeah, 1.4x, yeah, 1.5, so what do we have then, 4 plus 4x, 4 plus 4 times 1.5, 10, yeah, so in pi divided by 10, okay, inverse cos of the answer it's going to give us 1.25 then take 1.5 to minus the answer and you're going to get 0 0.249 so that's going to give us 0 0.249 what do we notice is that this one is negative and this one is positive so for since f1 times f1.5 okay it gives a negative value hence there exists a root between the interval uh, x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 1.5 the third part, we need to use the iterative formula x sub n plus 1 cos of inverse cos of pi and 4 plus 4x sub n. With, uh, <clears throat> so what's the initial value is going to be? We're going to take initial value as, uh, since we have uh, 1.5 and 1, so we're going to say 1 plus 1.5 divided by 2. Initial value of x is going to be 1.25. So I'm going to say x is equal to 1.25. What's going to happen? x is going to be the inverse cos of pi upon 4 plus 4 times 1.25. So that's going to give us 4 plus 4 times 1.25. Okay, so that's going to give us. Uh, this much 9 and take pi divided by the answer inverse cos of the answer it's going to give us 1.21 okay so that's uh, 
1.2142. We need to give each iteration to four decimal places. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, and then we got um, so x uh, two we have inverse cos of pi happened four plus four times one point two one four two. So one point two one four two, and what that's going to give us? Let's check it out. So we have then give okay, four plus four times uh, sorry, four times one point two one four two. Okay, we get pi divided by the answer. It's going to give us this much, and then inverse cos of the answer. 1.2082 so that's 1.2082 next we have inverse cos of um, pi open 4 times 1.2082 and let's check it out 4 plus 4 times 1.2 Zero eight two and take pi divided by the answer inverse cos of that it's going to be one point two oh seven two okay so that's one point two oh seven two right next uh, four plus Four times one point two seven zero two is going to give us one point two oh six nine three seven zero one point two zero seven zero so basically what I can see this is all converging to this value 1.2 1.2 1.2 so that's going to be this the root's going to be 1.2 take one here one this is to two decimal places here we are for this question